Hi, this is Dave again with another one of my wonderful videos on how to use Pydex. I use this software in conjunction with WindSpeed to link chips on birds and then put those in the pigeon flyers' clocks so when they go over their antennas they will register correctly. Um, on my desktop, um, I try to keep it nice and clean but I have Pydex down here and when you click and open it up you will see um, it's kind of a basic program it's not that difficult to use um, but again that's doing their job it can be quite daunting to figure out how to do all this stuff um, number one when you go up here under Pydex um, You'll, or, I'm sorry, down in the bottom here, um, you will see that you have this house with a bunch of people on it. And this is where you would create your club. And, of course, I have some clubs already in there. Most of them were in there from before um, when I had to merge together a big concourse race that had a bunch. So... I had to have them all in there so I could get all the birds in there. So the main one I use is Club 1 from our Montella Pigeon Club. But this is where you would create a club name, uh, give it a number, and you can put a bunch of other information in here. And um, the, um, the save picture of a disc here is what you would do, which is kind of like the add feature or um, that. So and the X is cancel. And if you brought it up, you would hit the green thing to refresh all the fields or whatever. So, anyway, once you get the club um, created over here on the left, you know, here's, here's where you can change it, delete it. Over here, if you notice, there's a wrench and a garbage can. Um, and it'll warn you when you're about to do all that stuff, you know, because you don't want to be deleting a whole club with all them birds in it, you know, because, uh, you know, it's kind of like your master file. So, then once under that, then... Over here is where you would create, you got a person here, if you click on it, this is where you create your people that are in your club. You know, uh, give them a, fly, a fancier number, which doesn't really matter if I move this over here um, or down. You can see that they're kind of numerical, three, four, five, six. It doesn't really make a difference. The name, the name of the clock, um, you know, which I usually use the last name. You can put the street names in, email, phone numbers. You can put in longitude and latitude. It's not that important, um, at least not for what I found out. Um, but if you want to put it in there, that's great. Uh, the more data that you have in another uh, database is great. Um, and then when you're done, um, you just hit refresh or save again to that number if you're changing it or adding it. Okay, so I'm just going to hit cancel out of here. Then the next field on the top is members which is um, kind of the same field in the front, but this is where you can work with the data. So if I change this to Montello Pigeon Club and um, go down here to, um, let's just pick uh, Bob, this is where you will see um, all of his birds. You know, So here you see in the first column what club it belongs to, then the year, then the... Um, um, or if it's an AU first, the year, then the club, then the bird number, the sex, the color, and then the chip that's assigned to that bird number. And so as each one of these is highlighted down below here, you know, you can pick any one up. You could unchip it, which means get rid of that DA267580 off of that bird. Or if it didn't have a chip, you could hit this third uh, pigeon on the button, of course, you do have to be hooked up now to the um, your club system with the um, USB going from here to the um, club system because, and then the, of course the clock cl hooked up to that, um, so the data can go interchangeably between the three, and that's what the club system does. I will show a video on that right now. I'm just showing you. You know, some of this, if you, you know, people that are interested, you know, you can see this um, just as an overview so you kind of understand that. So, and you can also, like, if I click on change, I could change the um, sex, the color, 
pretty much the basic. I won't be able to change the chip from here, but I could unchip it from here and then add a new chip to it from here. So um, change the year of the bird if you entered it wrong. So there's a lot you can do under this uh, the members um, field. Okay. The next tab is transfer data. Um, this field here is actually I use this one the most. The, if you notice here, it's it's coordinated into two boxes or two fields. The right box over here says, you know, benzene clock. This is the data that's in the flyer's clock. And the left one over here is what's in your computer, the actual one that you're on, like the one that I'm showing this video from. So if I change this to Montello Pigeon Club and go down to Bob, here's all his birds that are in the computer. Um, and of course, I don't have his clock hooked up, you know, um, but if I did, I would hook it up, run the red badge over for evaluate, then it would set on in his particular clock because he hasn't had his cl clock. Um, I would click this green button here, which says read out clock, and that updates all of his birds on the right hand side in this field. And of course, you will see they match so all these colors in pink and purple here change to black. So his bird 0001 RC with this chip number here, you know, will match over here. Now, if he's changed to chip number, in his clock and it's not in the database then what I do I go over here to the database then I go down here and delete the bird out of the PC database and then in this data these arrows here you're kind of like transferring data from here to here or from here to here and the single arrow is like a single bird um, where the double one is like the whole data so um, it's it's a what it is is like a it's a tunnel that allows you to communicate back and forth race administration this is where you um, I don't use this one so I really can't tell you about it schedule I don't use that but the evaluation one in the back is where I do that so um, after I figured a race and it's over and you know I've run the red badge over the thing printed out the race results then back on the clock I go back in there to um, communicate to the to the PC and in here I'll click on this green thing here and it'll update all of the birds that were in the race in here um, then because it saves this to the hard drive of this computer then when you open up wind speed which I will do now I'm going to click on wind speed and if we were doing let's say um, young bird uh, 2000 old bird I will go in here to the clocks click on add us click on the C drive where that is now see just as an example it will find um, that race in there in here so you click on this this changes up here to next and then you're allowed to import that data into wind speed and then you just follow the prompts if you want to use real names or from wind speed don't overwrite the sex and color and just follow the prompts I won't do that because like I said I've already have a race done I don't want to go too far and screw up my database so I'm gonna close out of that and so anyway back into Pydex that's how you do that and um, and of course if you were using winds 95 or 8 you'd, you'd click down there but um, we're using the top one and it won't even let me change it because it knows that I'm not on an operating system. So anyway, that's the data that's in here and this is pretty much using Pydex and it's a it's a pretty cool tool. Um, I didn't show you how to add a bird, but if you were going to add a bird, what you have to do is I always do it from here. Uh, the uh, data transfer screen, I would, um, you don't have to have the clock up to do this. So I'm just going to show you an example. So let me bring up the Montello Pigeon Club. And I'm going to bring up this Jan K. Now he's not with us anymore. Um, but just for the heck of it, I'm going to go down here to the bird. And it says insert new pigeon. Let's say he's got an AU bird. And it's a young bird for 15. And it's a, it's a um, MRP bird. 
and the bird number over here is um, 0700 I always make it a four digit number if it's one it's 0001 um, I just like that I don't like to have ones and tens and you know 100 it's 0100 you know change the sex accordingly and then a blue bar and then you hit add now see that will add that to the left here it added it in here and it said well where is it well sometimes you may have to scroll all the way down um, the thing here and you can see it added it here and say well why did it put it there well in this particular database it adds them in bird number order so 700 now is way down here near the bottom and um, and that's how you do it and there's no chip there if I wanted to add a chip to it um, I would have to have his clock you know hooked up to this computer then this box it's blank here there would be a chip in it and it would allow me to chip it put the chip over in the antenna where we basket and put the leg in and it would allow me to associate that chip to this bird and because the things in there I don't really need to send it there it'll automatically dump that birds chip over here into the right box and uh, like I said um, this is just an overview part of it um, when I get the computer actually hooked up and I'll show a video when it's all hooked up and powered up and everything I will show you how to do all that and uh, to make more sense I'm trying to the more videos I put together like I said um, people can always relate back to them and get answers and watch them again and it's hard to just try to type all this out in a book you know so somebody verbatimly reads every word because sometimes it don't make sense you'd rather watch the video see how things work and uh, go from there um, I know one thing before I get out of here like this particular flyer you know he doesn't fly with us anymore um, and all of these chips you know um, that are linked to these birds um, I don't know um, if I wanted to get rid of them I can start on the end now see it doesn't allow me to like I, oh it does um, and I can highlight all these birds like this and I can click over here delete if you see um, this and it'll warn me you are about to delete 52 pigeons do you really want to delete them and I'm gonna hit yes and um, boom they're gone so now he is still in the in the database but he has no birds now under his um, in here now if he still had a clock you know he could bring me the clock I could hook it up over here on the right upload all these and send all these birds and chips back to the database again you know um, so if you always want to keep the act the the ac accuracy of your pigeons to chips accurate you know because if you don't you know if something happens to the computer and the flyer leaves his thing out uh, ch a clock out in the rain it gets all wet you know he's uh, kind of messed up he's kind of screwed because um, he'll have to get a new clock and I won't be able to dump all of those chips up take them all off the birds I'll have to create them all and put them all back so um, that's um, why you make sure you back up your Pydex you know database and in order to do that um, when you're done up here in the very top there says um, export now it says fancier data now you could just export the data only or do a complete backup and that's what I'm gonna do that I'm gonna click on it and it's gonna come up and it's gonna always call it P underscore PIB you know um, that means nothing to me um, and it always saves it in a backup format you don't want to change that because if you have to restore it has to be in that or it won't work so I'm gonna call this um, you know Montello 2015 um, and that's all I need to do because um, I'll know what this extension after it this PBB or whatever that it saves it at that that's the file and you can always search for it but where am I gonna save it at I'm gonna look in here and 
I thought I had a folder in here for that, but I guess I don't see. Here was one I saved already up here under documents. It's called PPIB, but you don't really want to do that. Save it to your hard drive because most people's hard drive crashes. So if it's on your hard drive, it ain't going to do you much good, you know, to get it back. So I'm going to plug in a flash drive under the side of my computer, which I just did. And um, when that comes up, then I'm going to save this to that. Sometimes a computer will pop up, you know, this and that, but I'm going to click uh, computer and I'm going to go to the Kingston here. And I don't have one. I'm just, oh, see, I do have a bunch on here. Now, I probably saved this one already, but um, it ain't going to hurt. See, I already have some other um, backups from Pydex on here. So who knows what they are, but um, I know this is my current one that I'm currently working with, so I'm going to hit save. And um, you don't even get a successful thing. It just kind of goes away. So because um, it's such an old program, it, you don't really get things like some like successful and or failed or nothing. So I'm going to close out of here and I'm back to the desktop. And that's how you use Pydex, um, a basic overview of it. And, uh, and I hope this was helpful to you. Thanks.